Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as I have been posting recently, it seems that Microsoft is clamping down further to letting you use third-party UI customization apps in Windows 11 24H2 to customize the OS, as an example, to look more like Windows 10. And the last video I posted on this is that Microsoft could also block upgrades to Windows 11 24H2 if Explorer Patcher is installed and that video will be down below in the description. Now just to let you know that um, a little bit more information has come to light and it seems now that Microsoft could be blocking and putting safeguard holds up against more software that will prevent you installing Windows 11 24H2 if you have that said software installed. And this was spotted um, by the good folks over at DeskModder. And basically what they did was they sourced and decrypted an appraiser.stb file, which is basically a system file that's hidden quite deep in the OS. And they managed to get a, a so-called list of um, other apps and products that could prevent you from upgrading to Windows 11 24H2. And here is a complete list, as mentioned, taken from that post by DeskModder. And first of all, yeah, we can see Explorer Patcher, as mentioned previously. And yeah, we can take note of Start All Back, which are two that could possibly prevent you from upgrading to Windows 11 24H2. And as I've posted previously, and you can go check that out in that previous video, the way to get around this really is to rename the executable files. And then you install the upgrade and then you um, pop the um, renamed executable back onto Windows 11 24H2 and then you install the said software. And as an example, um, it is usually an older version of these apps that's going to be, pre pre be preventing you from updating to Windows 11 24H2. So as an example, if you are using the Windows 7 version of VLC, that's going to trigger a safeguard hold during the update but if you have the latest version of VLC, as an example, um, that will not be blocked or there will be no safeguard hold against that. So at this stage, this is not confirmed. This was just spotted uh, in a decrypted appraiser.stb file, but is a indication that these could be further uh, products that could be blocked and, pre and prevent you from upgrading to the next annual feature update. And something else that... Um, is we've been speaking about on the channel is that CPUs without POP CNT uh, won't be able to run Windows 11 24H2 uh, in the future as well. And I'll leave a video I've posted on that in the end screen if you'd like some more info. And there's kind of two sides to the story because um, for some, um, this might just be an annoyance and a, a kind of a, a Microsoft court is causing a headache for some users who do use uh, some of these um, different apps and products. But for others, it also may be that Microsoft is blocking unreliable software that has a high crash rate that is very sensitive to OS changes. So uh, very hard to say at this stage if um, all of these will be blocked or if some like Explorer Patcher, as mentioned, we've spoken about that previously, or Start All Back, we've spoken about that previously. But nonetheless, just keeping you guys posted as we like to do on the channel, and none of this obviously has been confirmed by Microsoft. This is at this stage is pure speculation. But because some of these um, apps have been spotted in that system file, um, there is a good chance that this could be uh, come a reality. But as mentioned, a lot of the time, just having the latest app and version of that app installed um, could prevent that safeguard hold block 